What's up guys, Rui here and welcome back to the channel. A while back we took a look at a brand that not many people were too aware of but I think it's a brand that has so much potential if it's given enough exposure and I would like to be part of it be it a very small one. The brand that I'm referring to is not in list and this time around they have released a rather small collection drop which firstly I incredibly fell in love with and I do believe that this collection will be the mark towards the brand moving towards the next level. But before we continue to further into today's video it would be very very much appreciated if you could go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel or just haven't been subscribed yet as it really does help the channel out a long way. I am trying my best to try to get the channel to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year so every little bit will help out here. Also if you are feeling generous and want to help support the channel in a much bigger way, I do have a Patreon page whereby I've only set it up to be a dollar a month and all of it will go into helping me to pick up new filming equipments so that I can continue to improve the qualities of the videos for you all as well as helping to keep the lights on this channel. Let me start off by saying when I first saw the collection and the whole idea and concept behind it, I was probably the most excited in the room. For those of you who just got started to know about this brand, Not In This tries to combine two of my favorite things together, which are video games and fashion. And I feel like if done right, this could produce some of the coolest pieces out there. And for the most part, I do believe that they managed to capture pretty much a lot of the video game essence into the garment making without making them look overly tacky or costumey. The collection this time around is titled Prologue that tries to tell an origin story about how technology has evolved to the point whereby mankind is now able to directly transfer their memory and mental state into the digital space creating what is known as cyber clones. As far as I am aware, there will be a full story that ties together with this collection and potentially even future collections creating a world building narrative through the pieces that will be released. From a production standpoint, this is now a fully made to order collection and I'm a person who have been showing my support towards made to order stuff because for one, the quality control will be much better and secondly, it does help to avoid excessive overproduction of garments which ultimately will be a huge waste of space and materials if those pieces are just sitting there. This collection features two pieces with each of them having their own alternate colorway and to give them a full proper review, I will be separating them into two separate videos. Therefore, for today's video, we will be checking out the ZK Down Jacket and in the next couple of days, I will be releasing the full review video for the ES Tactical Pants. The ZK Down Jacket is a thick and highly insulated jacket which unfortunately is something that I could not wear due to the fact that I live in a country whereby it's basically summer all year round but for those of you out there who are currently experiencing the cold winter season, this is a really cool jacket that you could look into. What makes this jacket so unique in my opinion is definitely the silhouette of it. There are so many different angular components being integrated here giving it a very futuristic look. To me, this is the perfect example on how video games can affect and be integrated into a garment. Being based out of mega suits or armor, the ZK Down jacket manages to achieve this almost robotic-like proportion that reminds me of characters such as Zero from Mega Man or even the mobile suits in Gundam that usually have a larger upper torso and slims down towards the waist area and it manages to achieve this proportion due to the crop length of the jacket. In addition to that, thanks to the padding of the jacket, it's able to create this illusion of a slim waist. That is why when it comes to sizing, I would highly suggest sticking true to size and not chase for the overall length of the piece because if you do so, the rest of the proportions might just be off, resulting in the piece not sitting on the body as intended. I'm wearing a size 1 here and it does fit me as it's supposed to. Checking out the front of the jacket, you have this dual construction design going on although they are non-removable. The inner layer feels like a track jacket with the full length zip, while the outer layer is where the thick heavy padding lies, which also feels like an additional armor plating protecting the front chest. Although I'm not able to feel test properly how good the warmth and insulation is, throughout my entire time interacting with this piece, I definitely had to turn on the air conditioning at all times because it does get incredibly hot inside. One of my favorite parts of the jacket is the high collar design. This is really great for the winter season as it's able to protect the entire neck area from the cold wind and with the addition of the secondary padded collar, it also provides additional warmth. Also, because of how white it is, you can look into layering a scarf or gaiter for additional insulation. 
And another thing it really does remind me of are the iconic armor systems that the Spartans from Halo have on, especially in this great color. And speaking about colors, the ZK Down Jacket comes in two colorways that you can choose from. Do note that the gray colorway that I will be showcasing in today's video is a pre-production piece, therefore there will be some minor differences in terms of silhouette compared to the navy color, which is the final production piece. I will still be showing up close of both colorways, but just take note that the navy colorway is the more accurate one in terms of how it sits on the body, details, as well as the silhouette. The navy blue carries a very dark hue that could almost pass as black, making it easier to match up with other pieces however hands down my favorite is the gray color the fabric color that they managed to source is super unique and possibly the most beautiful shade of gray i've seen it carries a very nice earthy gray that has a hint of green mixed in it which gives out this gritty industrial look which does remind me of the color tones that you would find in video games such as death stranding and metal gear solid as a person who would nine out of ten times pick up a black or darker colorway this definitely says a lot when i do actually much prefer the lighter gray and i hope that i do manage to do justice towards this color because if you are planning to pick this piece up definitely do not sleep on this colorway Being a mid to other piece, I am a little bit more particular when it comes to the overall construction simply because I do believe that there should be more attention to details as it's not mass produced in a factory whereby quality control and craftsmanship can be difficult to upkeep or stay consistent. Safe to say this piece does meet my expectations as it's very well made. All the stitching is perfectly in line with no loose threads found and considering how many different parts needed to be put together to form this jacket, I am very impressed with the overall craftsmanship. As for materials, both colorways actually utilize different types of fabric material, with the navy being constructed using 100% nylon while the grey is 100% polyester. This results in the navy having a bit more shine as well as a slightly rougher texture while the grey has a matte and softer touch. Personally, I really love how the grey colorway feels and look. The only unfortunate thing that I see here is that the fabric material does not have any water resistant property, which would have been a great feature to be present on this garment, considering that it's something that is meant to be worn outdoors. But there's always the possibility to do your own DWR treatment. When it comes to the feature of the jacket, it does have some pretty cool tricks up its sleeve and I actually quite literally mean it. In terms of storage and pocket space, there are a total of 6 pockets. 2 hand pockets located at the side and then you have 2 additional pockets hidden underneath the chest flap on the front. Where it gets really interesting are the sleeves of the pockets as it's located at the end and you can actually store things like your phone or potentially your commute card so that you can scan your card without actually taking it out of the pocket. The jacket does come with a removable hood that you can attach or detach using these velcro panels. And if I were to be hyper nitpicky, the hood is the one section that needs to be slightly reworked in my opinion. It is a very massive hood to begin with and for a winter jacket, this is a very thoughtful design feature as most hoods out there are only made large enough to protect your head. Therefore, if you do happen to have on any sort of headwear such as a beanie or an earmuff, chances are the hood might not be large enough to cover everything. One very good example that I can give here is that I usually just tie my hair up into a bun and because there's not an excess botch behind my head, most hoods that I have on look really funny because it doesn't sit as intended. The hood on the ZK Down jacket has a more boxy and taller shape thanks to it being constructed using multiple different panels, resulting in a hood to not form according to your head shape. Hence, there are extra space around it, which means even if I do tie my hair up into a bun, it still is able to accommodate it and not lose its shape. However, I find that the hood is not adjusted properly, it does have the tendency to kind of just collapse onto you, blocking a large portion of your vision. Now, this does not happen all the time, especially if you do take your time to kind of adjust it properly, but it does happen more frequently than I would like. Finally, my favorite feature of the jacket is the carry strap system. From a feature standpoint, it is not anything revolutionary, but what Xavier has done here is such a cool idea as he basically implemented a fully featured backpack strap onto the jacket. Therefore, you have nice plush paddings and the strap is even adjustable just like a backpack. It even comes with a harness clip and all of these truly does add towards the dystopic look and feel as it's these sort of details that pushes the entire garment to the next level. 
Now, I don't know if this was purposefully measured, but I find that the position of the straps are placed in a very natural position whereby I find myself just kind of effortlessly having it on as I'm wearing the jacket, as opposed to some other sling systems whereby I have to be very intentional if I kind of want to use those straps. For those of you who are watching this video, not in this is hooking you guys up with 15 US dollar off by using the promo code Ruby15. Both pieces in the collection are eligible for a discount and in full transparency, I do get a little bit every time you guys do use the promo code. So you have decided to pick up either pieces, do consider using the promo code to not only save yourself some money, but it also does help the channel out financially. All you have to do is type in Rui15 inside the order notes before checking out and you will later on be reimbursed back the differences. That is the full review of the ZK Down Jacket and from a design standpoint, I do feel like this is one of the coolest pieces that I've come across this year. And personally, I might just even rank this as my favorite piece of the year. It's such a refreshing and unique take of a puffer jacket and just the whole idea and storytelling behind it really does speak so much to me. What are your thoughts on this collection drop by not in this? Do let your thoughts and opinions be known down below in the comment section and let's discuss about it. Also, if you guys have any other further questions regarding the jacket that's not already been answered in this video, feel free to ask me and I'll be sure to get back to you guys as soon as possible. Finally, if you guys are interested in the ES Tactical Pants, the full review of that will be coming up really soon. If you have watched all the way to the end, thank you so incredibly much because it really does help to add any number of hours that the channel needs in order to be qualified to start generating a little bit of revenue. Also, if you did enjoy watching today's video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And once again, if you are new to the channel or just haven't been subscribed yet, please do me a favor and hit the subscribe button down below as I really am trying to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of this year. That's all I have for today's video. Please do stay safe out there and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.